Hey everybody, Josh here with you from the Marshall Auto Exchange. Going to do a quick video on our 1982 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. In this video, let's talk about mechanically, how it runs and drives, cosmetically. Um, there's not much to miss in the photos. It's a very sharp car. And then uh, a little history on the vehicle. So we did purchase this at the sale. Um, I've driven it for a couple days. It is super fun to drive. It is a fast car. Loud, powerful, sporty, very cool car. So we got an 82 Camaro with a clean title. Um, obviously it's a sharp car. The previous owner actually built this to be a race car. It is street legal. All the lights work. Um, goes up and down the road as it should. But it is... <laughs> It's a 327 small block that's been bored out to a 331. Just a very sharp car, um, fun to drive. Great, great little collector piece, I guess. Um, I bought it just because I'm a huge Camaro fan. I saw it and I thought, God, that would be really cool. And I bought it and here it is. So, um, really cool car. Cosmetically, it's in great shape. I mean, as I've walked around it several times, um, I haven't really noticed anything. Now, if you're a very avid collector of classic cars, I'm sure you're going to come pick this car apart. It is a used car. It was used as a race car. So it's probably not perfect. It's a very sharp car um, based off what I've seen. Um, there's Really the only thing I've noticed is on the hood. This is obviously an aftermarket hood scoop. You can see in the paint where, it's, where it was attached and connected. Um, outside of that, cosmetically, it's in great shape. Now the rear tires are have been victim to a few burnouts, so there's not as much tread on the rear tires as there is on the front. It's got a nice set of fat Hoosiers on the back and then a skinnier steer tire on the front. Just a really cool car. We'll go ahead and go inside of it here. The only electrical component I haven't been able to get to work is a driver's side window. I will get that looked at and fixed. Um, power Passenger side does work. So it does have the Samson racing seats. There's two seats. The back has been converted with the roll cage to be more of a race car. In the photos, I believe the third photo, I have a list of all the uh, alterations that have been done to the car. So the interior is set up just like a race car. True miles are unknown because the previous owner, as I mentioned, put in this, this different dash cluster for performance purposes. It does have a launch command switch, your RPM gauge, radio and then your center shifter so it starts right up sounds great pop the hood so you can hear it run We're by appointment Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, Saturdays, 9 to noon. Be sure to schedule that appointment before you come. We want to make sure that we are available and that there's somebody around to show you this car. Be sure to hit the like button on this video if you found it helpful, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks, everybody.